I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm with Realty South. We're at Greystone, Greystone Legacy. I want to show you a house today that I'm really excited about and I think you will be too. It's very unique. I think of it as a piece of art. It starts out here with the washed brick. I call it bleeding mortar, if you will, and then it, which reminds me of an uh, English castle, and then it is accented with a castle door. Let's go inside and let me show you some of the other magnificent features of this home. Okay, we're in the foyer here of our English castle. I'm going to point out things throughout the house that is going to be left with the house, and it's done by a local interior designer, di designer Sue Selby. Magnificent. In the dining room, it's the faux painting on the walls and the ceiling, which is accented by the four level crown molding on the ceiling in white, and then frames the outdoor picture with the uh, large drapes. A, a beautiful effect for a formal dining room that uh, will enhance any entertainment that you do. On the right hand side, we have the home office. It's painted with a suede paint on the wall. You've got a coffered ceiling and a perfect place for um, the home office. In the formal living room, which of course features the view of the golf course behind us, the three windows that are from floor to ceiling almost, make for a wonderful entertainment or just a family room to enjoy a nice evening and uh, or early morning. Sun sets in the west here, so it's a beautiful setting. We have built-in cabinetry on either side of a gas fireplace, uh, a wonderful accent to a beautiful home. This is the family center of the house. A very open floor plan with a family room, TV viewing, uh, another gas fireplace, and that then connects to a gourmet kitchen. Dark wood, heavy wood cabinets with a lot of detail. We've got everything that you would need to be a master chef right here. A beautiful island with, with double sink, and then you have a double oven, a gas stove, and then over here we have uh, the less formal dining that gives us total exposure to uh, the golf course. We have a screened in porch over here. Uh, evenings as the sunset, a glass of wine and a cheese board. I don't think it gets any better than that. Okay, we're here in the uh, master bedroom, which again, the predominant feature is the golf course outside. We can see the azaleas starting to bloom, framed by these beautiful drapes again provided and uh, by uh, our decorator. It then takes us into a magnificent, what the decorator called a princess suite bathroom. We'll take a look at it now. Okay, this is the master bathroom. As you'll see, it has a double sink, a jet tub. Again, the oversized drapery that gives it very much a, a royal feeling. Again, we are using the faux painting on the wall, which then is picked up in the ceiling, accented by four level crown molding. Just a beautiful, a beautiful setting for a hot bath. Okay, we're in the suite, the daughter's suite up on the second floor. This again was done by Sue Selby and, and it, the, the combination of colors is just truly, I think, an artistic feat. We've got a, a, a very light pink ceiling, a, a powder blue walls, white floor, and then the cabinetry and everything works so well together. If this was for my house, I'd leave it exactly the way it was and hope I have a daughter. Okay. Uh, got ample closet space, served as a music room. I'd play the guitar, but that is not part of my uh, repertoire. So I want to show you then the bathroom and the bedroom as well.
Okay, this is could serve as a Jack and Jill bedroom or bathroom for the two bedrooms, but this was the bedroom for their daughter and it served as a princess suite. And as you can see, it has a magnificent view of the golf course. The green on the walls actually picks up the green on the fairway. And this is, I, I love this. I think this is perfect. Look at the chandelier, wow. This is our third bedroom upstairs, a little bit more masculine than the, the prior two. And as you can see, it's got its own walk-in closet and its own bath that uh, it serves, can also serve as a uh, entertainment room bath. Then back over here, we've got a fourth bedroom upstairs, which is currently being used as a exercise weight room, but a, probably the biggest of the bedrooms up here, again with its own bath and its own walk-in closet. So you've got ample living space for a very large family and uh, some very outstanding design work it has been incorporated. As you'll see here, we also have a um, laundry room upstairs, so none of the laundry has to go downstairs if need be. And something I noticed that I thought was very important, there's a drain in the center of the floor there. Uh, God help us if that washing machine should break and you don't have a drain on the floor. Okay, found ourselves in the upstairs entertainment room. Uh, perfect place for TV, for game room, have some natural light, again with a magnificent view of the golf course, uh, some storage closet, this goes out into uh, big attic storage space, and then something that would potentially come with the house, a beautiful piece of furniture that was actually built in England and shipped over here in pieces uh, that serves as uh, the entertainment center. Uh, Wonderful room to serve the one, two, three, four bedrooms that we have up here. What a beautiful home. Okay, this is the screened in porch, one of my favorite parts of the house, right off the kitchen and the family room. And then a magnificent view again of the golf course. It leads out onto a patio. A uh, wonderful place to hold a cocktail party, uh, for kids to have a birthday party. And then you have this buffer between the golf course of tall pines, which will never fill in and never block your view. Again, a wonderful home and a, just a, a real style of life that can be achieved here in, in Greystone, Greystone Legacy. Come see us.